This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus back with another Old Gamer rant. Um, and I just have a question for a lot of you guys. Why do we get so angry when a game doesn't come out the way that we hoped it should be? Or that we think it should be or it's not exactly what we want it to be um i've noticed the climate when it comes to gaming these days is totally oh my god it's horrible like all right i understand bad games you know nobody likes a bad game nobody wants to have to play a bad game um it, it, it sucks when a game that you've been really looking forward to disappoints you, doesn't, you know, appeal to you in the way that you've hoped it is, it would, um, actually do, but I don't understand the level of anger, um, a couple of things, one, I don't understand why people, you know, go on these, like, really huge rants about it, like, they just been cheated on it's like people get really emotionally charged by this and it, it, it confuses me because I, I mean I've said this several times before because I remember back in the day growing up you get a game you're thinking oh this is gonna be so cool and it sucked and you were pretty mad as a kid um that being said you got over it and you went and you played something good to get over it something that you liked um I feel like now, as children, we reacted a lot better than we do, than we, you know, do as adults, or that at least as older people. Like, I guess, you know, children bounce back from things, from disappointment, a lot better. You know, only like serious emotional disappointment, like your parents don't do something for you um like your dad is not in your life or things like that that type of stuff tends to stick with kids where it seems like with adults <laughs> these days being disappointed in a video game sticks with them hard and it makes them like extremely angry and mad like i again you guys know me i play destiny i have my reasons for playing destiny i'm not gonna sit here and explain them out to people um Although, if you want to know, I can tell you. Just say so in the comment section. Um, while there's a lot of people who they just don't vibe with Destiny. Yet, a year later, you still get the same type of reaction for them. Where they, like, are extremely angry about, like, why people play this. Why do you play this game? It's so horrible. They just did this to you and they did that. It's like, well, first of all, they didn't really do anything to me. What they did is they put out a product that wasn't as good as it could have been or probably should have been it had its issues it had it you know it had its down points and all of that but at the end of the day it wasn't like they were personally aiming to hurt me they were trying to make the best game possible and they failed they they messed up they put out a like less than um quality product that happens it, it, it's not an intent by these companies i think that's one thing that we um, need to start to like realize I think if we start realizing that maybe we'll start to become more rational as a gaming community because I feel like everybody feels like oh these gaming companies are just trying to take you know they're trying to fool us they're trying to manipulate us I mean sure with marketing they're trying to sell you that their product is good but they're not sitting there saying we're gonna make this like horrible fucking game and then we're gonna hype the shit out of it and make all these fools spend their money on it. No, these developers are actually trying to make a quality game. A lot of times the developers are really, really passionate about what they do and they don't want to just make just anything. You know, now they may work for a company that sees it otherwise, like an Activision that tries to get them to push stuff out and it comes out a little bit flawed, you know, because you have two opposing philosophies. but. I think, make no mistake, these developers aren't trying to fuck you over by making a bad game. They don't want to make a bad, because who, 
I don't know anybody who has any type of professional pride or who is willing to spend the time and the energy that these guys do to create a product that are intentionally wasting their time to make something bad. So it's like the attitude that we give towards it's kind of it, it sucks. Like, why can't we just say, yo, this game sucks. It was like a piece of trash to me and just move on. Why do we insist on keep screaming about how bad it is <laughs> screaming at people who like it how bad it is you know what i mean i don't I, i've never really understood that what are you gonna do you telling me that you think the game that i like is bad is going to do what does it make you feel better does it you know make things a lot you know does it make your soul um sit well <laughs> with things in your life if you tell other people that something that they disagree with you on um, is wrong, I, I, I don't get it. it, it it's weird. Uh, we, we've definitely gotten to a completely immature era in this world. And it's reflected in things like video games and other things too. But I can go on and on about that. Anyway, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I'll holler at you later. This your boy Black Megas and I'm out. Deuces.